Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to provide the solution for one of the problems that most of the people during Selenium automation face. That is, let's say there is a Chrome browser. In the Chrome browser, there is a prompt alert displayed. This prompt alert contains a text box field where users can enter the text. Now, using the send keys command of this alert interface, if you are unable to enter the text into the text box field of this prompt alert on the Chrome browser, what is the problem? Why it's happening? Why most of the people are facing the problem here? And what is the solution? All those things I'm going to cover in this session, guys. First, let me open this Eclipse IDE where we have this sample project which is already configured with Selenium. And here we have a sample class. And inside the sample class, we have this main method. Here I'm going to write the automation code. First, I'll take you to an application website page where this prompt alert is available. Okay, I'll go to this application URL page, guys. Internet Heroku JavaScript alerts. You see, when I click on this JS prompt button, you see, I'm getting a prompt alert which contains a text box field. You see, this is a Chrome browser. Whatever I'm using now is a Chrome browser. It's a Google Chrome browser. In the Google Chrome browser, if this kind of uh, prompt alert comes, which contains a text box field, you will not be able to enter the text, guys. Okay, let's try that. Let's try to enter text into this prompt alert and see what's happening. So, for that, I'll take this URL and here I'll write the code web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup. Then here I'll say web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. So in other browsers, it's not a problem guys. If you go for Firefox browser, it's not a problem, but in Chrome browser, it is a problem. I'll show you now. Let me import this web driver interface from Selenium and also I'll import this Chrome driver class also from Selenium. Now I'll say driver dot. I'll maximize the browser window. After maximizing the browser window, I'll open the application URL. Inside this get command, I'll provide this URL where this prompt uh, alert button is available. Now the next activity I I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this prompt alert case. Okay, prompt button. Inspect this prompt button. You see this is HTML code of this uh, JS prompt button, JavaScript prompt button. I'll copy this text between the tags of this button. I'll create an XPath expression like this. Double slash button, double slash button, square bracket text is equal to the text between the tags I'll provide here now to build this XPath expression. That's it. Okay. Using this XPath expression, I am able to locate this button now, right? You see, only one element is locating that this button is. Now I'll copy this XPath expression of this button and simply create a driver dot find element by dot XPath statement, and I'll provide that XPath expression of that prompt button. Now simply I'll click on the button, guys. Okay. At the end, I'll add dot click. So when I click on the button, guys, obviously we'll get this particular prompt alert. Now we need to switch to this alert, right? So how to switch to the alert in Selenium? Simple. We'll write the statement like driver dot switch to dot alert. We'll write generally. So let's switch to the alert like this. Once you switch to the alert, now I want to uh, return the object reference of the alert interface here using this alert method. So I'll simply say alert alert is equal to like this. And using the object reference of this alert interface, I am going to perform some operations on this prompt alert. Okay. So first I'll say alert dot alert dot. I want to type text into this uh, prompt text box field of this prompt alert. Okay. So for that, there is a command in alert interface known as send keys command. Okay, this send keys belongs to the alert interface using which I want to type text into this uh, text box field on this alert prompt alert. So let's say I want to type my name into that. Let's say I will give my entire name. And uh, that's what I want to do. If I run this script guys, okay, my name will not be typed into the Chrome browser. Okay, this uh, text box field of this alert of this Chrome browser, it will not get typed. Let's see that in action. So it will open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser, open the application URL, and it click on the prompt alert button. Prompt alert will be displayed, but it will not type my name into the text box field of that particular prompt alert. You see, my name has not been typed. What if, what if I change a small thing in the script, like uh, I'll change this Chrome driver to Firefox driver here. Okay, I will run the same script on Firefox driver. There will not be any problem though. Okay, you'll be surprised to see that there will not be any problem in Firefox browser case. Okay, I'll say. Web driver manager dot Firefox driver dot setup. I'll say and here I'll change it to Firefox driver. Now in this case guys, there will not be any problem. I'll import this from Selenium library. Now if I run this script in Firefox browser, this works well, but in Chrome browser, it's not typing my name into the text box field of the prompt alert, but in Firefox browser, it will type guys. Okay, you'll be surprised to see that in Firefox browser, it will be typed. Fine, let's run this. And uh, you will see that. The Firefox browser into that prompt alert 
the text box field on the prompt alert it will type my name just wait you see my name has been successfully typed into the text box field on this prompt alert in firefox browser but what is the problem in the chrome browser why that is happening and what is the solution let me explain okay so there is a defect there's a problem in chrome browser guys okay you have to understand that first okay to understand the solution there is a problem here by default there is a problem in the chrome okay so you see there is a stack overflow link that i pasted here in the notes let me open that from this we'll understand okay what is the problem this is some some person has already answered this for us right he also has the same problem okay with the send keys uh, and uh, using the send keys uh, he or she was unable to okay type text into the prompt alert text box field okay text box field on the prompt alert in the chrome browser okay so what is the problem for that it's simply they are saying that it's a display issue guys okay so display wise you are not able to see that there's some text displayed here but actually it is entered guys okay using send keys the text actually my name has actually been entered into the text box field of this prompt alert on this chrome browser but it's not visible because of the display issue it's just a display issue guys but in reality it is happening but display wise it's not displayed when you are running automation scripts nothing more than that okay so what you have to do to overcome this problem guys you see here here if i if you if you see this application guys if i see this application if i enter some text here and to confirm whether the name has been typed here or not okay if i say okay if i am getting my name here whatever the text i entered after saying okay if i get the name here means the name has been really typed you see i'm getting my name here right so let's see whether this name has been coming in the result or not okay even though it's not visually displayed in the displayed as entered into the text box field whether the name has been entered or not we can confirm if you are getting this in the result okay so let's see that and uh, whether that is happening or not let's check okay i'll change again it to chrome driver now chrome driver and here also i'll change it to chrome driver so as i mentioned guys it is a display issue only but the name in reality is being typed into that text box field on the alert even though it's not being displayed okay for you so after this guys if i simply say alert dot accept after you accept it guys in the result if you see this particular name even though visually you are not able to see in the text box field has entered if you are seeing in the result means that means it is a display issue only but in reality it's being entered into the text box field of that alert run this in chrome browser there's no problem guys except that display problem where whatever the text that is entered into the text box field of the prompt alert is not visible for us but it's actually entered in the background you see in the background it got entered that's why even though it's not visually displayed on the text box field of the alert it's being displayed in the result that means it proves that the text has been re in reality it has been entered but not displayed it's just a display issue guys and uh, more information also we can see guys uh, as part of this answer you see there is a link provided just click on this link to state that why it is a display issue and uh, it's accepting after the accepting the alert okay just go to this link guys you see the selenium guys have clearly mentioned that they are not going to fix it okay the problem is not with selenium guys uh, it's all because of the implementation details of chrome browser itself okay so selenium guys are unable to fix this problem because there is a ultimately there is a problem with the chrome browser itself because of that implementation problem in the actual chrome browser itself this particular displaying of the text in the text box field of the prompt alert is not possible in chrome okay so it's out of reach for the selenium guys also okay that's a problem and they're not going to fix it we should be okay with that only solution here as i already told you is accept the alert guys okay after entering the text into that particular prompt text box field in the chrome browser simply accept the prompt prompt alert and it will be entered guys in reality it is getting entered even though it's a small display issue so in firefox there is no problem there is no display issue and it will be entered also without any problem but in chrome browser only there is small display issue hope guys you got the solution for the send case command of this alert uh, which is not working in chrome you may think it is not working but in reality it is working in the background guys it's small it it's it's a small display issue guys nothing more than that so so that's it guys thank you bye